Prince William's final talk with Meghan Markle means the war in Wales will continue. Welcome to Royal Hour, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates from the UK royal family. According to Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, Prince William and Harry may never return after the violent feud that has pierced the royal heart. Burrell watched William and Harry grow up together, acting like his mother's best friend and confidant. It is known that since the tragic death of their mother, both brothers have been able to rely on each other but now, according to reports, they do not even talk to each other. The problem is that once something is said, it can't be taken back and people get hurt, Burrell told the Mirror US. He said he thought Meghan Markle and Harry's accusations of attacking Duchess Kate were too harsh for William, while Harry was concerned about losing his military title. Burrell explained, I think William was offended that his wife was being criticized. Even though she's at the top, she never makes a mistake, he said the rumor that Kate made Meghan cry over her bridesmaid's dress a few days before the wedding was a betrayal for William and that the last straw would forgive Harry for his narration about the alleged brawl. Between brothers. Because yes, he can fight his brother and break the dog bowl, that's what boys do, brutally and fall. But don't criticize Kate, who sacrificed everything for this role to give us an heir and make him a queen, Burrell said. And I don't think William has a voice to support his wife, he continued. And Harry knows that. So Kate's harsh criticisms are inexcusable. And so it's still considered fact. However, Harry has also been affected by the loss of his rank, the prince is prohibited from wearing a uniform during royal ceremonies. Burrell added, I think Harry is sorry to have lost contact with the military and his uniform. Has he dedicated his life to serving his country, and let that be taken away from him? He doesn't quite understand. He put a lot of effort into maintaining that alignment. Harry served in the British Army for ten years, including two tours of duty in Afghanistan. The Duke of Sussex conducts combat missions using Apache attack helicopters. To the astonishment of many senior military officials, Harry revealed that he had killed 25 Taliban fighters while fighting in Afghanistan. In his candid memoir, Spare, published earlier this year, wrote, So my number is 25. This number gives me no satisfaction at all. But it's not that character that embarrasses me. Although he was specifically allowed to wear military uniform at the final vigil in honor of Queen Elizabeth II, he wore a simple dark suit at King Charles' coronation. Paul Burrell said he doesn't see the Valesian war ending any time soon. I think the bank has plenty of ammunition to shoot at the royal family, he said. A friend of Princess Diana added, let's face it, Meghan hasn't written a book yet. These are her views and facts and we still have to get to the bottom of whatever. When does she come out? Thank you for watching this video, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video.